Count of three. Yep. Okay. Hey, Sanipas, this... Oh, you didn't even count to three. <laughs> You're supposed to start counting. Tico. Tico, what you doing? What you doing, Tico? Goddamn, Tico. Tico, what you doing? Hey, Sanipas, this is Super Summer God Barbecue, and today we are in the realms of the Sea Nation domination. John Cena! It is John O'Clock, and I'm fully aware that's for JBL, but I used to use it once, and it fit, so... It, we can say it's John O'Clock, maybe, possibly. <laughs> Not that JBL's in the WWE games anymore, because he got removed from the commentary. If you want some hot WWE 2K18 news, right there for you. Um, but... John Cena, not that you've probably seen it in every other YouTube channel that's posted the same video five freaking times. But we are here with uh, Eden, who is not actually here at the moment. We've got um, Ed as well. And we also have a nose by the name of Tico. Wapadu! Who's going for a six time reign. Six time. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm hanging on like AJ Styles and Money in the Bank. See, I think you've lost it this time. You, you've said you think the rest of the main three colors the Miz. I was thinking Ruru, but Miz at first. But then I saw that he was at SummerSlam. I already gave myself the L. The title's up for grabs. I'm already taken to the back on a stretcher. It's up to y'all. I've got my own opinion, which I'm going to give in a second. Ed has said, you've said Cedric Alexander. Oh, yeah. Jobbers. You, you said Ruru, didn't you? Because you said Miz originally, but now you said Ruru. So he got, actually Tico said Rusev, and I said Randy Orton. But if you like what you see in this, because we are going to look at John Cena's card in a lot of detail, then remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel whilst you are there. You can hit that with an F U. Sorry. PG. AA. John Cena is the event card. He has a big advantage. And I, I tend to look at John Cena's card like the Jack Gallagher card. I don't know if you guys remember this from the Ultimate Tier. His card was not ridiculously overpowered, but was pretty good. He had more stats than any other card. And John Cena, not that the fact that he is, you know, the, the, guy, the guy who kicks out to more than Roman Reigns, is actually the best card in the tier, event card-wise. He beat Matt Hardy, I believe, in free stats. He does free stat one event card that I'm aware of other than... Joe and Seth. <clears throat> so he free stats those. But the, the thing that's interesting is that it's more about how you token the cards. Because the card, John Cena's card, isn't necessarily the best when you look at it. But if you token it in the right way, it absolutely murders everyone. It's all dependent on how you want to token it. But this gives me an idea that we potentially are going to get ourselves a brand new tier very soon. I would imagine that the next event card we get will be Chris Jericho levels of OP. That's Roman what I'm thinking. Roman Reigns OP. Could be, yeah. You just imagine if it'd be Roman Reigns. Everyone would complain. We do have some picks already stored. So we're going to hopefully be able to reveal the card. The ultimate is AJ Styles. The elite is Seth Rollins. The hardened is Kevin Owens. And I'm getting a theme that is based off of old or current uh, feuds. And if you don't know already, John Cena returned on July the 4th to SmackDown Live. He's now a free agent or whatever the hell that means. In WWE, that no one else is a free agent. I'm guessing creative got bored. My prediction is it's going to be Randy Orton. The reason why I'm saying it's going to be Randy Orton. Yeah, I know I've been saying a new tier has been coming for two months, but don't don't hate me, okay? It's not my fault that they start giving pros out to everyone. But come on. I'm saying it's going to be Randy Orton because it's an old feud. It's a good pro. It's a recent pro. And I think Rusev is a little bit too recent. And Ed... Why Cedric? I don't even get why you said Cedric Alexander. I don't even get it. Yeah, that's just no, you, 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 that's could just, just, you know, I, I just want it to be oh. so I could just make you look bad. I okay. want to make you look bad. I am sorry. Summer Sam is the Miz and Elite is Y2J. I apologize. Drink it in, man. Yes, I, I, I was a stupid idiot. I said that the Elite was Seth Rollins. So that could mean that WrestleMania could be Seth Rollins, but I don't think it would be. Funny because I think Tico knows it's gonna happen because <laughs> he's probably seen. Yeah, I was a stupid idiot. Thanks, Chance, for telling me in the chat. Yes, Jericho is the elite card. I apologize. Um, is Seth Rollins in this at all? Because he had a really good feud with Cena. Um, I have no clue. But you should because you know. 
No, he is not. You're welcome. Ooh, so potentially it could be Seth frickin' Rollins. Well, guess what? It's not. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go get the pro for John Cena. I'm not sure yet. I might wait till the next event card. So I may miss my first road to glory. But it's just because I, I don't need the, the cards. I've got the Hall of Fame cards and throwbacks coming out of my ear. So here we go. That is AJ Styles. It is done. We are now going to hopefully reveal whoever the uh, WrestleMania card is. It'd be nice to get an early reveal. But because uh, I've got 51 shards, you know what's going to happen. We're about to get a top piece. That you're going to get one piece and only <laughs> had like 20 pieces removed and still not get it. Yeah, or I'll be one shard away from one shard away from actually revealing it, and it'll go. Your card catalog is full, because I'm not, I'm not getting anything that's actually worthy of revealing anything. Oh, I think we just got it. I'm pretty confident that that's enough of a reveal to tell us who it is. But if that is what I think it is, then <laughs> yeah, Tico has been defeated. Yes. However, no, 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 no. That could be RKO Crush. <laughs> what? It's, it's his new proc. Or it, or it could be Finn Balor, because it's always Finn. Okay. That could be Roman Reigns. You never know. <laughs> so just the, as you're about to get the shard, you get all the shards off the board, and then suddenly it changes to Roman Reigns. <laughs> Everyone is saying, oh my god, it's a promo. I'll, uh, I'll express mail the championship belt to you. Yes. So, Randy Orton, who had a long, long-ass feud, several long-ass feuds, with the master of Thugonomics. They actually debuted, debuted around about the same time. Yeah, in WWE. Too. Yeah, they debuted at the same time. Randy just kind of came in and started feuding with loads of people. And I remember when Randy Orton had curtains for a hairstyle. But that oh, guy yeah. was that guy it, was so stylish. And they were kind of smart because they put them on separate brands. Randy was on Raw pretty quickly. Randy Orton? Oh, sorry. Randy Orton. If it could be. still be Roman. It, it's not Roman Reigns. It, stop it. It's not Roman Reigns. RKO Roman Reigns? I'm going to RKU you, you in a second. I know the counter. The moment we grab you by the nose and not the neck. Ooh. You could probably grab me by the hair. I got pretty no, That's the hair. thing. His nose is a separate part of his body. So there's no way that Tico would have. Yeah, I have to take it off at night before I go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Dive. <laughs> you know, we could call this episode Dive Domination. It's actually, Cowboy Bob Orton. God. When was the last time that he was actually a card in this game? Is it a throwbacks? Season one. Yeah, Arthur. season one. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like it is Randy Orton. Or Ra Randy Orton. If we're going to be Jinder Mahal. The, the Randy! Man, the man who will be taking his place in a Punjabi prison match in a couple of weeks. To face uh, good old Jinder Jobber Mahal. Or sorry, Jinder Job. the X Jobber Mahal. Yeah, there you go. Know your role, bud. <laughs> yeah. It, it could be Cameron. It is a god no. Um, so yes, Randy Orton is the uh, WrestleMania 33 card. If it's a pro for you, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, pretty much that is about it. John Cena card is OP. So if you're going for it, let me know what you think about the card, the stats, the fact it's slightly OP, but not overly OP. And, and whether I'm finally going to get a prediction right about the new tier because... I've been saying for ages that it's going to be a new tier. You were right about Randy. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm going to start being right. But remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and you want to see more. You get to see goodbye to uh, Tico's nose. Not Tico, though. No. Bye, Tico. See ya. Bye. Goodbye. So you're now irrelevant, Tico, unfortunately, because you didn't get the uh, six. Yeah, I kind of just buried myself right there. Yep. Eden. And Ed, thank you very much. I've been here for about all of 30 seconds, but okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. And Ed's not talking. Okay. I'm talking, but Ian took my spotlight. So we can now say that Tico doesn't know. And one last thing, and that is to... Uh, one thing people are asking is they're saying that I should try and force a pull off the board. So I could do that.
Let's see if we can force a pull off the board. Let's go for it. If it's a kendo, I will probably die. Someone just predicted a kendo in the chat. You need uh, it, man. No, it'll be a ladder. Classy Freddy Blassie. That's not ravishing! Oh, wow. <laughs> the, yeah. um, the American dream. Doggy Rusev! Go get that reference. Rusev Doggy's oh, her every wow. night. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus H. Christ. I know I'm a douche, but <laughs> is it two stat, though? Unlucky! I'm actually slightly upset. That was not ravishing in any way, shape, or form.